Hi, my name is Brian Venton from Australia and welcome to another Words of Hope pastoral conversation. I've called today's talk Ditches and Donkeys and it has an Easter theme. So what does Easter mean to you? Let me springboard this chat with an Easter reading from a few verses in Matthew 21. And I was asked to read this passage at church for our Palm Sunday service last week and I noticed something I hadn't seen before. There were two donkeys mentioned here, not one. And I got to thinking, why did Jesus need two donkeys? To start with, though, let me read excerpts from the text. Now, when they drew near to Jerusalem and came to Bethpage, to the Mount of Olives, then Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village in front of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them both to me. Now, if anyone says anything to you, you shall say, the Lord needs them, and he will send them at once. Now, this took place to fulfill what was spoken by the prophet, saying, Say to the daughter of Zion, Behold, your king is coming to you, humble and mounted on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a beast of burden. And the crowds that went before him and that followed him were shouting, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And When he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred up, saying, Who is this? And the crowd said, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth of Galilee. A friend recently sent me a social media feed about the potholes on African roads, and it went something like this. The South African potholes will change your radio station. Then someone said, The Zimbabwe ones will move you from the front seat to the back seat. And someone said the Ugandan ones make our breasts fall whilst we're still young. Now, this humorous meme got me thinking about potholes, though, of a different kind. Many of us find ourselves stuck in ditches of debilitating life narratives, potholes that do us all kinds of harm where we get wounded and broken, despairing for hope and answers. But listen up here. It doesn't matter how deep the ditches might be or how wide and how long they have formed a blockage in your life. When Jesus rode into Jerusalem on that young colt described here as a foal of a beast of burden, he did something that we could not do for ourselves. He carried our burdens to the cross so we never again had to be stuck in the ditches of life. Now I know I'm stretching things a bit here, as no specific reason is given for two donkeys being required, just that Jesus needed them both. I imagined in my mind, though, that Jesus needed the second donkey, the Jenny, the mother of the cult, so you and I could join Jesus on the crucifixion journey. It's as if Jesus was saying, Come to the cross with me. I have a spare donkey here for you. Tarry a while at Calvary and watch what is about to transpire. My death, he said, is a death you should be dying because of your sin. But I'm going to die in your stead so that you can be restored to a right relationship with my Father in heaven. Then imagine Jesus saying to us as we rode along with him on our own donkey, Will I get to the cross and hang there in your place? Sit on your donkey beyond the crowds and observe what happens. And as you sat on the jenny, you overheard the conversation of the two thieves dying alongside Jesus. And you heard one of them say, Remember me when you come again in your kingdom. And and you heard Jesus say, Today you will be with me in paradise. And you realised that all you had to do to be saved was to believe, like the thief. There was nothing really complicated there. And then you noticed, while sitting on the jenny, some of the crowd were acknowledging Jesus as their king and were obviously believers. Then you notice some scoffing and placing a crown of thorns as a wreath on his head. And some mock saying, who is this Jesus? And here you were still sitting on the donkey, but now with the colt that Jesus had ridden tethered to the jenny beside you and still draped in the royal robes of the king and Jesus who had now died on the cross and you weren't sure what to make of it all. And as you rode the jenny and the colt back to Bethpage to return them to the owner, you too started to believe, remembering some of the teachings of Jesus. And you can recall him saying something like this, Are you tired and worn out, burned out on religion and stuck in a few ditches and crushed under a heavy load of care? 
You heard, remember that Jesus had said, come follow me and you will recover your life and I'll show you how to take a real rest and walk with and work with me and watch how I do stuff. Learn my way of grace, you remember Jesus saying. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. You couldn't remember the exact words, but that was the gist of what, what it was that you could remember. And it made a lot of sense now. The resurrection hadn't happen, happened yet, but the penny had dropped in your mind. Friends, if you are struggling to make sense of the ditches in your life, or struggling to find meaning and purpose in your life's direction, or you're finding it hard to know how to deal with what you sense is rising global chaos, can I encourage you this Easter to find your way to the foot of the cross somewhere? Look in faith to Jesus and let him speak into your moment and trust on him and trust in him. When Jesus requested two donkeys, remember, one of them might have been meant for you. Let me encourage you to do something this Easter. Read the Gospel of St John. Open your Bible and read the Gospel of John and ask three questions as you read. What does the text say about Jesus here? What does the text say Jesus will do for me? And then what does the text imply I must do in response? I trust you've enjoyed this pastoral conversation today and thanks for watching and We'll catch up another time. Bye.